Creating a first-of-its-kind vacation means considering every detail and square inch. From the inside out, Icon of the Seas is designed to have just about everything any family or group of friends is looking for in a vacation. On this episode of Making an Icon, we're headed to the heartbeat of the ship, the Royal Promenade. Day and night, it's a place to be and be seen. Why? Let's find out. The Royal Promenade is a classic with Royal Caribbean and has evolved significantly. It's an amazing hub for the entire community on board the ship. It's activated through the day and all the way through the evening, and it always has been this place where people meet and have fun together. And that's certainly true for Icon. It's the next generation of Royal Promenade. The Royal Promenade has been a staple of ours since the Voyager class ships. Watching it grow, not only in size, but experience through the Freedom class, Oasis class, and now onto Icon class is really remarkable. So you're gonna see a larger, wider, longer, higher promenade that's gonna have a lot more experiences. The Royal Promenade is where the world's best vacation begins, literally. It's where everyone will take their first step onto Icon, and it's made to make the best first impression. We've always spoken about the need to honor tradition, to evolve much of the experiences, and to be innovative and revolutionary. When you look at Icon, all of our loyalists who love all of the traditional elements of all promenade will find that. Also, a lot of innovation. We now have sea view on the port side and sea view on the starboard side, which is something completely different from what we've had on our pastoral promenades because we had the very successful long horizontal atrium. It is now two complete decks that bring yet more dining, more entertainment, and more venues along the space. This promenade feels infinitely wider because we've gotten rid of barriers. You have this connectivity and it feels like an open thoroughfare that you'd find in a London or Paris or somewhere. The first sight anyone will see are incredible ocean views. We're talking floor to ceiling views and it's a first for Royal Promenade. That alone is a feat for the engineers, naval architects, and designers. It required structural changes and creative solutions. The result? A three-deck high sphere called the Pearl. It's more than meets the eye, too. When guests walk on board, they will see a massive structure that we call the Pearl. They may not know what it is, but the scale of it alone is enough to take your breath away. The Pearl sits directly center in the Royal Promenade. It's hard to comprehend without actually being there and experiencing it. It is three decks high. It spans from deck five all the way up to Central Park. As we were designing the Royal Promenade, we were focused on how do we bring light and water into that space, which is not something that's easy to do because there's not superstructure to support it. That actually gave birth to the Pearl. Pearl is not only this incredible experiential installation, but it's also this superstructure that allows us to open up the side of the ship to provide that connectivity to the water and to light. The Pearl is the most quintessential example of four meets function on Icon. We knew we wanted ocean views, and this large structure within the center line of the ship is what allowed us to do that. Then, once we figured that out, we started to have fun with it. We started to think, what's that first impression moment going to be on the ship? What do we want people to think when they see it? So the Pearl has been an evolution. It's a multi-sensory experience. You're gonna have thousands of panels that are moving around. That combined with light will bring in different inspirations, different sounds and music that will really feel like you're immersed in different experiences and themes through the course of the day. I think everybody's gonna interact and experience the Pearl in their own way. It's beautiful, it's artistic, it's incredibly creative. There is nothing else like it on the planet.
What makes this neighborhood a hot spot day and night? There are 15 restaurants, bars, and lounges, including Royal Caribbean's first dueling piano spot, new bars, karaoke, and more. Even the favorites have new twists. Icon of the Seas really brings more experiences together in one place, and we're introducing some new and exciting venues. The number of the hull on every ship is unique to that ship. On Icon of the Seas, that number was 1,400. And so the 1,400 lobby bar is our tribute to all of those hardworking folks who built this amazing and iconic ship. We really feel like that'll be in the meeting space of the ship. So it'll be open from 10 o'clock in the morning to past midnight. During the day, we're leaning very much into tropical juice-based drinks. And then as we get in the evening hours where people are getting more kind of in the pre-dinner drinks or after-dinner drinks, you'll see a section of the menu that's very much kind of pre-prohibition cocktails, a little more focused on old fashions Manhattan. At the Pearl Cafe, we've pulled inspiration from some of our guests' previous favorite cafes, but we've really given them more of what they wanted. We'll have fresh toasted croissants, hot chocolate croissants, croissant sandwiches, really delicious sweets. We'll also have some chocolates available, some little specialty desserts as well. We have our first ever dueling pianos. We've seen them all across many cities within the U.S. It's something that our guests have been asking for. Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar in the Promenade allows this connection to the action. A lot of our specialty restaurants are traditionally in quieter areas of the ship and here, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar, which is a high energy wine bar and dining experience, allows the guests to be in the middle of the action in the Royal Promenade. It is perched right over deck five from the deck six mezzanine. And so you've got an amazing wine bar with gorgeous views. And then you've got kind of the intimate seating recessed back. Sorrento's is a guest favorite, and our guests have an opportunity to enjoy that on Icon of the Seas. Our Sorrento's will offer antipasti that will be available for our guests as well on a rotational basis. Also, beer on giraffe. Who doesn't love to have a beer with their pizza? Spotlight Karaoke will be back with the best stage we've ever created, with a bar, with private rooms. It'll be amongst quite a few other different kind of musical venues that are surrounding it. And this was very intentional to create this downtown notion within Royal Promenade. With Point and Feather, our English pub, we have opened up that facade and we've pulled the bar into the center space of the neighborhood, really bringing the energy into the space. Boleros and Schooner Bar make a return. Both of those facades are open to make sure that the energy and the music can spill out into the neighborhood and really activate the aft part of Royal Promenade. At just about any point of the day, between coffee, lunch, dinner, and a nightcap, there is a variety of experiences to choose from. Think ice skating shows or ice skating with family, laser tag, and full-scale theater productions. We always up the ante, so everything about Absolute Zero is bigger and better than anything we've done before. It's a bigger ice sheet. It's also a different shape. We now have a glorious oval shape. We have purposefully built two entrances that are hidden from the audience, but allow our uh, skaters to come on at high speed so they can get straight into the tricks. It's gonna be action from the moment they enter the arena. So the shows will take on a new level of dynamics. We have ice skating in Absolute Zero for families, for kids. And then we also have laser tag. It's for everyone. Our Royal Theatre, over the years, we've been developing technology and it's all been by adding on with the white paper approach to Icon of the Seas. All of these technologies and all of these developments we've made in automation and video, lighting, smoke, haze, it's all integrated now, which will help with the storytelling. Icon is the vacation where grown-ups and kids can make memories together and on their own adventures. That's why near the center of the action, there are places just for kids and teens to go and do their thing. As you're going down the promenade, you can veer off and go into Adventure Ocean. Our space allows us to have kind of your choose your own adventures. We have our nursery, we have our AO Juniors, we have our very own theater. You go into our active space, we'll host different games. You can choose whether or not you want to just go hang out. We have the top gaming systems in these spaces. We also have a workshop and this workshop incorporates arts, crafts, science. We're also going to host games for families. 
Teens have their own dedicated space. It is Social 020. We have the latest video gaming technology. We have interactive tables. There's a movie viewing room. So really this chill area dedicated solely to hanging out with your new friends. Talk about the best first impression. Between sprawling ocean views, spots of all kinds for a night or day out on the town, and places for the younger ones of the group, the Royal Promenade is always a vibe. There's many elements of the Royal Promenade that are familiar to our guests, of course, because we want to make sure that we respect the tradition, but we evolve many of the concepts. And of course, you can go there for dinner, you can go there for lunch, you can go there to chill, you can go there to be thrilled. So it really is a space that, like many of the neighborhoods on Icon, are able to entertain at different times of the day in different ways. What's next in the journey to bring Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas to life? Stay tuned for the next episode of Making an Icon.